What's up y'all, it's your girl Leah back with another video. Today we are in Atlanta, Georgia. We're gonna be reviewing a house listed for $825,000. It has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it is 2,904 square feet. And it was built in 2008. Also guys, please understand that I'm a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia real estate professional. And none of these comments are made with ill intentions towards anyone that is associated with these transaction or with this transaction. So please don't take it to heart. It's for entertainment purposes only. If you need any assistance buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate needs, definitely reach out to me. I will do whatever I can to assist you. I will leave my first time home buyer's guide in the description down below. You can download that completely for free and I will coach you through the entire process of home ownership. So I can't wait to hear from you guys. Let's go ahead and hop into the review. Okay, so the inside of the, the outside of the house looks good. It looks like they use that modern, uh, that, that common theme nowadays is like white exterior, black accents. Um, but it doesn't look bad. They got the, the wood fence out there and all that good stuff. So it's cute. And the garage spaces and all that stuff. So nothing to complain about as of yet. At least we do have square footage on this one because the last house didn't. Oh my God, did we take these pictures with an iPhone? Come on now. Why are these pictures looking like this? We're doing a disjustice because the everything just looks far. Why did the pictures look like this? I'm not really crazy about what I'm seeing so far. The pictures look pixelated and it's like, I'm not even capable of giving a sound assessment of it because it's so far back. I would have expected for this space to just be a little bit bigger, but um, it doesn't look bad. I think that the design is pretty nice. I like the fireplace, all that good stuff. I like the paneling, doesn't look too horrible. Um, hoping that we get some good pictures of the kitchen. So just some extra storage and some shelving, so that's nice. We've seen that already. The living space is definitely smaller though. Not really crazy about that. They try to be open concepts, but there are like, little spaces that like are left off. The pictures just look horrible though. Like, I know my vision isn't the best, but how can I even say that I like this house when I can't even see? It's so blurry and pixelated. Like, this is ridiculous. But anyway, the kitchen is okay from what I can tell. Um, they just kept it simple. I like the light fixtures and all that good stuff. It's definitely decent. Nothing too crazy. Got some. They got the gas stove in there. Another almost iPhone type picture. So I assume that this is probably a bedroom and they're just, they're just using it as an office. Oh my gosh, y'all. This house was built in 2018. Why don't we have a tub from 1930 in this house? Like this, I do not like that tub at all. It's giving old. This bedroom is cool. I like the accent wall, but it's still hard for me to see. Oh, the closet is humongous love a big closet love love a big closet they should have put some of that room into other spaces um, because why do we need a closet this big unless you genuinely just need a closet this big and it doesn't even look like they're using up all the <laughs> spaces in the closet either this bathroom is nice but I, like i said about the closet i feel like the closet is that is it doesn't need to be that big when there's not even enough space to see the entire tub. So, there's that. I love, it. no I don't. The countertop, mm, it's cool. I think it does clash just a tiny bit with the wallpaper, but it's not horrendous or anything like that. $825,000, it's definitely not giving eight twenty five. You know what I mean? It's not giving that to me. Shower, I, I don't know why people keep putting the overhead spigots in these showers. like. Me, I can't get my hair wet in every single day. And obviously if you're gonna shower every day, that will make it extremely difficult. No, it's a no for me. So I don't see any other like, areas where the water could come out of, but I'm, I'm hoping that they do have other areas, other um, faucets. This is a, probably a child's uh, bedroom, which is cool. It looks like it's kind of small though normal bathroom i don't oh this is a full bathroom i was gonna say i thought that it was gonna be a half but it's full another bedroom simple bedroom nothing crazy so this is the laundry room though there are so many different things in this house that would make you think this house might be a little old because even though it says that it was built in 2018 why are we putting little things like this in here this definitely points to it being a little bit older than what it actually is 
and I feel like that's not on purpose. Like, you're just making it look old because you don't want to spend more money on it. But I don't like that. I feel like that just makes it look old. This is given stage. It doesn't even look like anybody would be sitting in here or living in this, this little space right here. Another picture of the outside of the house, the garage spaces. The walk up to the to the house is actually really nice. I think that looks really good. The fence is nice. I'm glad that we have a consistent fence because a lot of the times they'll skimp out on that. But the home isn't that old, so I don't know why some of the areas in the house just like were, were made to look a little bit older than what it actually is. I don't feel like that is a selling point. Different places within Atlanta, hot Atlanta, hot Georgia. So we don't need to know all this stuff. I'm so disappointed in this home. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't do what it needed to do for me. So, uh, if I had to rate this one on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give it like a four. This house was very underwhelming and I'm just not feeling it at all.